welcome back to after facts master class so let's talk about shape layers so first we have to create a composition size frame rate duration 05 means 5 second we already talk about this so change the fit to 100 percentage change the resolution to auto and everything we set now these are the tools window now go to layers you can create layers from layer window so it's not accessible because you should select the timeline window then go to layer new let's talk about solid it's a simple one control y is the shortcut solid so you can create a plain background that's it so you can select the color from here and press okay then okay then you can create a solid color that's only you can make it as a background if you are working with motion graphics so just lock the layer so you cannot select and unlock again you can work with you can change the position and lock again you cannot select so if you are working with motion graphics you can create a solid for background color background so if your solid is move you can align again go to window align here is align window you can vertically and horizontally center and you can make it center again now if you are going to solid setting you can change the color rechange everything colors and everything you can rechange press okay okay so we change, we create a nice yellow colored background now just lock it so because you cannot select the background that's why now let us talk about shape layer these are the shape layer if you want to create a circle or rectangle you can you should you can access the tool here rectangle ellipse star poly everything you can access for example i create a rectangle the shape layer is here they will automatically create shape layer and if you create a rectangle they will automatically create a shape layer now you can select the shape layer and you can move and if you create again a shape layer again a box in that layer in here you can see only one layer for example if you are moving that layer for example transform if you are moving this layer the both shape are moving because it's a one layer but if you are going to inside the contents you can access rectangle 1 rectangle 2 separately now you can move each shape layer is separately so in here if you select the layer then everything moves in a same time but if you go into contents you can move separate so i'm going to create a new rectangle so if you want to create a new rectangle in a different layer so just deselect the layer then create just deselect the layer then create again it will create layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 that's a thing deselect the layer then create again so we will access so if you create the if you select one layer so then create a shape layer the shape layer inside that layer so it's very important so if you are moving that layer everything moving in the same time if you want everything in a separate layer you should create the shape layer by deselecting for example next is rounded rectangle when creating you can hold the up arrow right arrow key and left and right for smoothing the corners and next is circle if you are pressing shift key it's like this and if you are press shift and control it's like center based proportion shift and alt center based shift for just proportion now you can 
transform here is um, you can see contents and transform if you go into transform you can scale and if you unlink you can scale in one x and you can scale y if you tick on the link you can get the proportion based scale it's fx for all layers and you can change the rotation and look at this if you are rotating is based on this anchor point so if you in here span behind anchor point tool you can change the center pivot if you tick on the snapping you can snap the pivot now rotate it will center based rotate but you can get some plugin for aligning the pivot here is a animation composer anchor point mover so if you are this is a window if you are clicking on left to corner the anchor point is based on here look at this and if you are clicking center it automatically move into center so if you are clicking right or left they will change the angle point based on the so this is a free plugin go to google animation composer and here is a mr host tv actually you can get a free version download and download for windows if you are using download for mac so anyway just download and go to downloads and just click on installer you can install then restart the after effects that's it you can get this plugin also so it's very important plugin you should install this plugin anyway i just delete everything and create a new polygon so you can create the polygon and anchor point mover and you can control the anchor points everything with this plugin and here is a contents and insert the poly star and i just create another rounded rectangle here poly star if you are drop down the poly star and drop down the fill show transformation again and poly star path sorry you can get the lot of option again if you are drop down poly star and poly star path you can increase the points you can increase everything you can change the position scale rotation from here also anyway just try with these shapes layers and shape layer properties you can change the roundness of this polystar and everything and if you are going to the rectangle you can access the rectangle size rectangle roundness everything you can control from here anyway it's very important i just delete this one and create a new rectangle and here you can see two colors fill color you can change from here or you can change the stroke color into black but stroke is not visible but because stock size is zero so you can control the stock size from here and also you can control this setting from contents rectangle stroke and fill you can change the color from here also everything is same and you can change the opacity of fill and you can change the stroke properties from here change the stroke color from here change into blue and you can change the stroke size from here and round cap and you can add 
dashes and increase the dashes and you can change the stroke size again and again so these are the stroke and fill colors properties now if you create a new rectangle and you don't need to see the fill so you can click on the fill text then you can control the fill from here gradient you can change the fill into gradient and rounded gradient or if you don't want the you can control the gradient from here gradient colors from here okay you can control if you press okay you can control the gradient lines and everything and if you don't want any fill just click on here none they just delete the background the fill color you can get the strokes only so same thing you can apply into stroke none solid gradient and everything you can apply into your stroke so these are the basic colors and shape layer properties so you should try with different different shapes so let us start the works so i created one box and just control d for duplicate the same layer and just move it i think this is snapping and here look at this here you can scale the properties if you scale the if you untick the link you can scale height only but the problem is is changing the width of strokes because we are scaling this layer so if you want to scale without changing width here um, you should go to condense and rectangle rectangle path here is size just unlink then you can scale from here but it's not changing the width of these shapes so it's still same stroke width so if you have any problem like this go to contents rectangle rectangle path then change the size from here so i created circle so next class let us start animation so i change the rename the bow layer so let us next class let's start animation like this so before you can get a lot of inspiration